Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. Here we will discuss about a topic from unit interpolation. The topic is concept of interpolation. Basically, interpolation is defined as a technique of calculating the value of a function for any intermediate value of an inter independent variable. Let's say, suppose if we have a function y equal to f of x and we have taken values of x and y, that is if x equal to x0, its corresponding value of a function y will be equal to y0. Like that, x1, y1, x2, y2, up to xn, yn. So if we have this tabulated value, then the process of finding unknown value of a y corresponding to any value of a x, which will lie within this table, or you can say, which will lie within the range x0 to xn. This process is called as interpolation. So if you see, if we want to find it out any value of a x or you can say value of a y corresponding to any value of a x which will lie in the interval x0 to xn, then this process is called as interpolation. In short, we can say that it's a process of determining unknown values that lie between the known data points. So if you see x0 to xn, or y0 to yn, these are known data points and we are going to find it out some unknown value of a y corresponding to x. So if you see mathematically the range will be in between x0 to xn. This x is nothing but the value which is to be interpolated. Now let's see what are some electrical engineering applications. Suppose if I want to perform some experimentation in high voltage engineering or material science laboratory. The name of experiment is breakdown strength of oil. Now we know that in that we will be taking reading in this way, distance between sphere balls in MN and breakdown voltage in KV. So if we took readings like this, uh, breakdown voltage for 5 mm gap, breakdown voltage for 10 mm gap, like that if we have taken up to 20 mm and we have taken its corresponding breakdown voltage. Now after completing experimentation, after returning to uh, classroom, suppose I want what will be the value of breakdown voltage if distance between two electrode is 7.5 mm. Now in that case, what you will do? Is it required to go again to laboratory, again arrange all the setup, perform experimentation, keep the distance between two electrodes 7.5 mm and then take out the reading? No. If you have a set of a tabulated data, and if you want to find it out, value of a y corresponding to x in between the range starting from x0 to xn, then we can use here a numerical method which is called as interpolation. Second example, suppose number of poles and the synchronous speed of induction motor has been given to us. And if we want to find it out, what will be synchronous speed if number of poles are 10? then we will be easily find it out it with the help of uh, interpolation. Again, suppose if the experimentation has been carried out uh, for determining power angle characteristics of a medium transmission line and we have a load angle data in degrees and receiving end power, active power P has been given. And let's say, suppose if I want to find it out, suppose delta equal to 50 degree, then what will be the active power P at receiving end that we have to find it out then we will be able to find it out with the help of this interpolation technique. Now, there is a, another process which is called as extrapolation also. Suppose here if you see the uh, x0 is 0, xn is 120. Okay, let's say for example. Now suppose, now it is not possible in practical, but suppose if delta equal to 150 degree I have taken, then what could be the power P? If you see here, if you observe, this 150 degree is out of the scope of values of x. So the process of computing value of a function which excludes x0 to xn, this is called as extrapolation. So it's a way to make a guesses about the future or about some hypothetical situations based on the data that you already know. So therefore, uh, the range has been x is less than x0 or x is greater than xn. For example, Suppose values of a current and voltages of a particular systems are known. One can extrapolate that data to predict how the system might respond for the higher voltages. 
or if the salary of an IT engineer who is working in a well-known IT company increases by rupees 10,000 average per year. So by using the method of extrapolation, after say at the end of fifth year or at the end of tenth year, your pay should be about rupees 10,000 higher than today. So we can do it by this, we can do this calculation by using extrapolation. So this is what is the video related with concept of interpolation wherein we discuss about what is interpolation, then what are some applications wherein we can use this uh, interpolation, electrical engineering applications, and on the contradictory, what you mean by extrapolation. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you.